Hi, in this video I'll cover the Poisson distribution function in Excel. Now the Poisson distribution was credited named after a French mathematician in 1837 named Simone Denis Poisson. And this is the formula that is used to create it. Usually the Poisson distribution is used in counting up the number of events across time or over an area. So some properties of the Poisson distribution are that the outcomes are classified as either a success or a failure. Uh, there is an average number of successes and that's known, that's your mu, and the number of trials are infinite. So it's kind of a little bit different from a binomial experiment where you usually find a finite number of trials. So some of the questions that could be answered for a Poisson distribution or Poisson probability distribution could be like as follows. So let's say the average number of tornadoes that hit your region are two per year. What's the probability that exactly three tornadoes hit your area? Another question could be, let's say a car salesman's average sales per week are three units. What's the probability that she will sell at least one car? And third, the average number of birds that come to your bird feeder on a daily basis is five. What's the probability that you'll see less than four birds on your next day observation? So these are all kind of variations that we can use the Poisson probability distribution function in Excel to kind of solve. Let's go to our first example. Uh, this is the one where we have tornadoes and I'm going to put the formula here and use that. Now we have our mean and successes that are going to be entered into our Poisson distribution function. So the average number that's going to be our mean are two. And what's the probability that exactly three tornadoes hit the area? So that's going to be three. So the Poisson function basically is just Poisson dot dist and we're looking for x which is our number of successes. Why don't I just bring up the uh, window here? It gives you an explanation uh, of the function arguments. So x is the number of events. So that's going to be 3, our number of successes. Or I can just reference the cell here. right? Our mean of course is going to be 2, 2 per year. And is it cumulative or non-cumulative? Now cumulative we're going to say false because we want exactly three tornadoes. We don't, we don't want from 0, 1, 2, and 3. We want just the exact three. So that's going to be false. Press enter, press OK, and our Poisson distribution is 18%, right? 0.18. So how we would use this particular function or this formula to do that? Well, what we're going to do, the, the lambda is basically our mean. So if I use this particular formula to figure it out, I'll say lambda, which is 2, to the power of x, which is our successes, to the power of 3, and I have to multiply it by Euler's constant. And Euler's constant is defined as 2.71828. Uh, That's Euler's, const Euler's constant. And that is to the power of negative lambda, which is negative 2. I'll put this in parentheses. And you want to divide it by the factorial of x. So the factorial of x is basically 3 times 2 times 1. But there is a function in Excel called fact. Press tab to open it. And we can just put the number 3 in there. Press enter. And we're going to get our 18%. So that is the same as that. So we have a nice function, the Poisson.dist function. But if you wanted to be a little more challenged, you could plug all those numbers into that formula. We're not going to use that later on. We're just going to rely on a Poisson.dist function to do the other examples. So here we have another example of how we can use the Poisson probability distribution. And let's say we have a car's average sales per week is three. So the mean is three. And what's the probability that she'll sell at least uh, one? So what we're say basically saying here is, what is the probability that she sells zero cars? And we're going to subtract that from 100%. So we're interested in if she sells at least one car. It could be one, two, three, four, et cetera, cars. Now, the probability that she sells zero cars, which is our success, is that what we're going to use. So I'm going to type zero here. And we're going to use a Poisson distribution function. Poisson, we're going to sell zero. 
and our mean is 3, cumulative, and that's going to be false because we want to find out if she sells exactly 1, I mean 0, right? And it points us to about 4.9%. Uh, what we want to do it now is do equals 1, that's 100% minus that number. So the probability that she sells at least one car is 95%. Let's go into our third example, and this is an interesting one. So let's say the average number of birds, or bird, the average number of birds that come to your bird feed on a daily basis is five. What's the probability that you'll see less than four birds on your next day observation? So our mean is five. Our success is three. That's less than four, right? So we're going to use our Poisson distribution function. And x is our success, our mean is 3, and here our cumulative is not true because we don't want to see exactly 4. We want to see 0, 1, 2, 3. So that's going to be the cumulative, that cumulative amount. So that's going to be true. Press enter, and we're going to see 26%, right? And I kind of wanted to expand on this too because when we're talking about the cumulative, we're basically saying, what is the probability of 0, 1, 2, 3? And if we did the Poisson distribution of exactly, uh, for exactly 0, exactly 1, exactly 2, and exactly 3, and added them all together, we're going to get that value. So this is what it does. So if we had our success as uh, 0, and our mean is 5, I'm just going to press the F4 key to lock that in there so when I copy it down, it doesn't change. A9 is going to change to A10, A11, A12, but B3 will always point to 5 as the mean. So cumulative, I'm going to say that that is false. So exactly 0 for this row, exactly 1 for that row, etc. So close that. You have 0 0.0006. If I take that down, you're going to see all the other numbers. So exactly 0 is going to be that amount, exactly 1 is going to be that amount, percentage exactly 2, right? If I added this all together, it's going to equal that sum, right? Sum, press tab, and select that, press enter, and we have our 26%. So that's what the uh, cumulative, that's what this cumulative function of true, that's what it's doing. And that's, that's what it's doing in saying that our cumulative Poisson probability is basically the addition of the different um, probability mass functions for each of the successes. And that's what I kind of wanted to expound a little bit more on why we're using uh, the true versus the false a cumulative Poisson probability versus the probability mass function. So those are our three examples in Excel using the Poisson distribution function to figure out the Poisson probability distribution. So I hope that helps. Thanks for watching.